Welcome back to IAS Tech. Today we are diving into the world of Tailwind CSS and exploring how to harness the power of the before and after pseudo elements. So let's get started. Pseudo elements can give our designs the that extra flair. With Tailwind, it's straightforward. So we will look into very basic usage first. So first off, to set content for our pseudo elements, Tailwind gives us the content dash value utility combined with the before and after variant modifier. So let's see it practically as an example so i'm going to add a link here and let me add some text and here i would add class and let's give it text sky 400 after colon content dash square bracket and now we will give it the custom value so let's try it okay you can see that it is now adding the content by using this class so if you make some changes for example if i add this you will see that it will add it you can also look at in the inspect element this is the anchor tag and this is the after pseudo selector and you can see it is adding the data you can also pull content directly from an elements attribute using the css attribute awtr function so let's try that i'm going to remove it and instead of that i will use div add class and use before content dash attribute before now we must have to add this attribute otherwise it will not work so let's see it for first it will look like this that you can see on my screen now i am going to add the attribute before let's try it all right you can see that we just have added the text with the help of the attribute you can see we used the before this time and it is using the before pseudo selector to add that next if you got a, a string with spaces normally a uh, tailwind css does not allow that but if you really need it you can do that by using underscores to represent them so let's try that so for example i am going to remove this attribute and here i would try to add hello world or welcome back so i added that and it added that i try to add it in this way you can see that it stopped working if you want to add space just use the underscore so you can see that it has added the space between welcome back this is a great solution if you just want to add space by using the underscore but what if you really need an underscore to make that possible you can simply escape it so use the back backward slash like this and now you can see the underscore is visible tailwind shines with its variant modifiers so use them to conditionally apply classes so let's suppose this is the text that is being shown by default and i can use the hover effect so for that i will use hover before content dash and give it the different text now let's see you can see if i hover on this text it will replace the content with the different value next thing is uh, we will talk about is breakpoints and media queries so if you are designing responsively you can use modifiers like md to target specific breakpoints so let's try them by default uh, this is the one style for the before content and i will instead of trying hover i will use md so here i am saying that for the medium or greater than medium screens use this uh, text so let's try it so you can see that as this screen is gre greater than medium breakpoint so that's why it is showing the ias text now if you reduce that screen size then you will notice that if i increase the width at some time it will show you a ias text but in the smaller screens it will show you welcome back if you need more customization then uh, you can extend the default theme in your tailwind uh, con dot config dot js file so let's try that as well so open your tailwind dot config dot js file and in the extend we can add content and add link so here this name can be anything it's up to you and then you can give it anything for example here i want to add an image so url and give it the path so let's say i want to add an image of a link or something like that copy the svg and let's create that svg file here icon.svg 
paste the SVG here. Now let's try to add the path of that SVG as it is on the root directory. I will use slash and icon.svg. Okay. Now it's time to test it. Go back to your index.html and I'm going to get rid of all of this. Now use content dash and look at this. The new uh, content that I created in the tailwind.config it is, is visible in the suggestion as well. So just select it and save it. Now you can see that the icon is visible. We just added the dash link and it is now visible. So in this way, you can use images as well. And that's how you wield the before and after pseudo elements with Tailwind CSS. If this tutorial helped you, then make sure to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Until next time, happy coding.